So I've been going down the rabbit hole lately with a few niche fragrances and some of the upper end designer fragrances because I feel like there just has to be a lot more out there than just all the standard designer stuff that everybody seems to always talk about and wear. And let me tell you, there's a ton out there I've never heard of. So in today's video, I wanna show you five different fragrances that smell like pure luxury and success. Plus I'll throw in a few honorable mentions at the end. And I guess what I mean by luxury is incredibly high quality and precision. And I know that sounds kind of hard to explain and wrap your head around, but these fragrances that I'm gonna show you today absolutely smell like money and success. There's just something about these that give you that feeling of luxury and high class when you smell them. And of course, I realize this is all subjective, but if you wanna smell different from everybody else and also smell like a successful high value man, these are a few that I would recommend. All right, now first up we have Naxos by Zhirzhov. So I bought this little sample, but now I need to definitely go get the full size bottle after living with this one. So it has bergamot, lemon, lavender, cinnamon, uh, some tobacco and vanilla. And it's just incredible the amount of balance this has between the lemon, the lavender and the tobacco and the vanilla. It's very long lasting. It sits pretty close to the skin and it just smells like success and luxury. I don't really know how else to describe it. And because I like to give credit where credit's due, a few of these recommendations today came from Demi Rawling. So if you're not familiar, she has a really nice YouTube channel where she talks all about different fragrances and I think she's probably got over like a thousand different bottles. So Naxos is one that she recommended on her channel. There's another one on my list that she also recommends, but I'll get to that one in just a minute. Okay, the next one is Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum. Now, Black Orchid can be worn by both men and women, but this one in particular, the new Parfum that came out in 2020, smells a lot better on men in my opinion. The previous Black Orchid was a little bit more floral, but this one's more woodsy, earthy, and warm and spicy. Now, there are still some of those floral undertones to it, but in my opinion, that just sort of adds to the overall mysterious and sensual and sexy vibe. It's long lasting, it's powerful, and because I don't think a lot of men are wearing this one or they're not even aware that they can wear it, you will definitely stand out and smell like success. Okay, the next one that Demi Rawlings recommends is this one, African Leather by Memo Paris. Now, even though this has leather in the name, I didn't really get that much leather on it. So I picked up this little sample bottle on Amazon just to try it, but now I definitely need to get the full size bottle. It is seriously that good. If you wanna go pick up a sample like this for yourself just to try it, I'll go ahead and put the uh, Amazon link down below in the description. The main fragrance note in this one is cardamom, but it also has this really beautiful green floral and fruity and warm and spicy notes to it that make it unlike anything that I've ever smelled. So the opening on this one is fairly powerful, but after five or 10 minutes when it starts to dry down, this is unbelievably good. It's kind of funny, so story time. I ran into a couple of buddies just the other day and I was wearing this and of course, you do the whole bro hug thing and they were both like, dude, what is that that you're wearing? It smells amazing. So they also commented that they really didn't smell it when we were all sort of sitting down around a table, but when they got closer, that's when they could really smell it. So just based on that, I would say that projection is gonna be relatively close, but this is a beast in terms of performance and longevity. All right, coming in next is Millezime Imperial by Creed. I feel like Creed Aventus seems to get all the attention for very good reason, right? But I think this one is more like a sleeper. It's a little citrusy with lemon and mandarin orange, but it also has some musk and some woodsy notes to it as well. Again, this is incredibly well balanced between those crisp fruity top notes and those woody undertones. Now, technically this is, I guess, considered a unisex fragrance, but again, at least in my opinion, this is way better suited for a man. Now, projection I would say is medium, but I wish the longevity was just a little bit longer because I get maybe four to five hours out of this. But it's so good and so luxurious that I really don't mind reapplying it. If you haven't smelled this, you should definitely go check it out. 
Now this brings us to Le Labo Bay 19. I think the most popular fragrance from Le Labo is the Santal 33, but this one, it's bringing a more expensive and seductive vibe. And once again, it's very well balanced between the patchouli, the warm woodsy notes, and the fresh green notes. This is definitely gonna be for spring and summer. And it's got a very unique aquatic feeling that lasts a very long time and it just smells expensive. So I picked this one up as sort of an impulse buy the other day and I need a little more time with it, but my initial impressions of this are extremely good. All right, now it's time for a few honorable mentions. First is another one from Zhirzhov and it's Accento. So when I heard Demi Rawlings talk about this brand, I jumped over on Amazon to see what I can find and I found this discovery set with seven different fragrances and it also comes with Naxos that I mentioned earlier. So if you're interested in grabbing one of these discovery sets, I'll link to this one down below in the description. Accento is extremely unique because it's really fresh and fruity with pineapple, jasmine, and iris, but it also has some amber, musk, and vanilla. And I know I've said this a few times already in this video, but the balance between all of these scent profiles is extremely well done. Okay, the next honorable mention, I got a little sample, is Blonde Amber by Clive Christian. So this one's spicy with some smoky tobacco and also some orange and floral notes. And it's kind of crazy because you wouldn't think that smoky tobacco and bitter orange would go together, but it absolutely does. This smells incredibly high quality, refined and luxurious, and you won't smell like every other guy out there. If you try this one, keep in mind, it's fairly powerful, especially during the opening before it starts to dry down, but the longevity is very good. Now there's a few more that I'm waiting to get my hands on, so once I'm able to secure those new niche fragrances, I'll make a video about those. And if you wanna see that, please tap the like button and also let me know down below in the comment section. And please subscribe if you're not already. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.